Yes, sir. What is good, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today we'll be talking about what is next or who should you, uh, sorry, who should you save for next on Global Grand Cross? So, as you can see, we just got is the red uh, Deldery, and also we got the blue Elizabeth this week. So it pretty much is uh, this blue Elizabeth is pretty good. Um, She's not a muscle unit, but she's like a cheesy, a really, really cheese character. The reason why she's used for is because of her uh, passive, which is remove all allies debuffs and heal their HP and also fills the ultimate gauge by two when they when they heal when this one dies pretty much. So that's really good. So pretty much it, it pretty much says I'm I'm going to one turn kill you, pretty much an OTK uh, on the first turn. So that's really really good. But she's not a must-sum unit, she's just just like a okay unit. And then I think she will be added to the uh, pool after she's gone, so that's fine. Alright, so, so then the question is, who is to save for and who to summon for? Well, as you can see, uh, you might have heard from Nagato, uh, Speedy, and all of them, all the Grand Cross players. Uh, to save for the next uh, unit was to save is Escanor. The, uh, Escanor was the one that you, that you want to save for it. Now that Escanor is here and uh, and he's thinking he's gonna be gone like next week, remember correctly? Um, so who is the next best unit to save for? Well, um, the next best unit to save for is let me see if I can find him. Uh, yes, this guy here, Blue Demon Melee. Uh, Blue Demon Melee will come, I think, in Chapter Nine or after. I don't know yet though. I'm pretty sure as he's coming next. Don't call me on this, but I, but I think he's coming next next week or either the next week after that, because I think we'll be getting Gother's uh, final boss battle. So and he's really uh, he's pretty useful for that boss battle. So so let's see. So Demon Blue Melee. What did he do exactly? Well, uh, passive or, or unique passive is Tough Will. If Melodos has four or less ultimate gauge move, orbs uh, orbs attack disables have no effect on him. So that's really, really good for being petrified. Oh, never mind, it's not petrified. I mean, uh, by being locked by Gother, pretty much. Played by Gother and by Arthur. So this is pretty good. So that's okay for PvP. It's really good. But his moves, so his moveset is pretty, pretty good. So let's go with this. Enhanced Hell Blaze. Inflicts Pierce damage uh, but to 100% to all allies. This is an AE attack. The more the higher, the more better. And then Darkness Flutter, which is Corrosion. Uh, damage equal to 15% of remaining HP to all enemies. So pretty much he is an all uh, an AOE unit. So this is pretty good. This is really, really good for him. And what's his pierce rate? 40%, wow, that's pretty high. And crit chance, 50%. Great damage, 155%. Yeah, he is really, really good. His pierce rate is really, really good. It's pretty 40%, so. Um, I think that this guy is a must summon because he's used all in PvP as well. I think he was used in PvP. I don't remember correctly, but I think he was. And um, I pretty much, and I think he also shares the same uh, outfit as the Red Demon, so that's really good. So I recommend saving for this guy uh, with the next week or two weeks. I uh, don't know when exactly, but the other one that we should also be summoning. Is for so I can find. Um, well, this is a preference for me. I don't know if you should be summoning for it, but uh, if I remember correctly. Um, where is I think I'm in the uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in the JP side, global side. Um, close to this guy, this guy here. I don't know when exactly when he will be coming now because he was a New Year's, um, New Year's unit. Um, but I'm hoping he will come around the 4th of July for us, or he could be coming uh, around New Year's for us. Who knows? This might take a long time until we get this guy, but this guy came in the JV banner for New Year's, and he was the unit to pretty much summon on. And he's pretty much the same thing, but a little bit different. Uh, Declare of Death. When Meliodas kills an enemy, increase his ultimate uh, move gauge by the number of ultimate uh, move that the enemy had. So let's say if you kill a um, blue king with full um, ultimate gauge move, if you kill him, you get all of that, and that's really, really good. 
Uh, his wood skills is uh, Chain Blow, level 2. Well, actually, all level 1. Wow, that's pretty good. 180% um, damage to a certain target and prevent from gaining... Ooh, an ultimate gain for one turn. Uh, so this, this, this guy is pretty good because you're going to be uh, getting... Uh, re so that at, so you're, you're going to pretty much have to pretty much use this to remove the old gauge or preventing them from gaining an old gauge. That's really good. I think it's the one move. Yeah, yeah. It's a single target. But I think his second skill move is Devil's Fire. It flicks 130, 135 to all damage to enemies. An infection so re restricts uh, recovery. That's it's pretty good. And of course, his ultimate has a uh, weak point. That's one of the units that you should be summoning on. Well, should be or should not depends on you. Uh, if you like the, the Demon Melee, sure you could summon him. But uh, I, I think he's pretty good. I don't know. If, I don't know if he's good for uh, PvP, but I'm sure he is really good for PvP. Um, let's see here. Mon Speed. No, should not summon Mon Speed at all. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the one. This is the one. All right. So blue Lilia. Blue Lilia should be coming in very, very soon. I think she's next week. I'm 100% sure she is next week. She is not from the anime, actually, or the manga. She's she's actually an OC unit. So his card is really good. She is used a lot in PvP and a lot for uh, PVE. So a blue Lilia. She is she. Her passive is dark. Uh, symphoning or siphoning, if I remember correctly, uh, increases all allies' pierce rate by 50%. So, the reason why she is useful because she can increase the pierce rate for that blue demon melee. You want to run her with blue demon melee that way so we can get more damage. And then, yeah, applies even in terrain battle. So, that's really, really good. So, she, her, and blue demon melee are pretty much a combo. So if you're gonna summon for Blue Demon Melee, I recommend getting her too as well because those two uh, units uh, and the team is really really good. So her skill is pathetic. Uh, this one's pretty much just uh, yeah, the please one um, ultimate gauge or an ultimate move gauge orb, and of course if you're three as three, and then her uh, healing ability is really really good. I think it's better than Blue Kings because HP heals allies equal to 200% of attack. That's really good. So this this card here makes her an automatic replacement for Blue King for any team. Um, well, kind of. There is some teams that you want to that you want to run Blue King, but most likely you're gonna run her because of this healing move here and her ultimate inflicts damage to or well, Star Link inflicts damage to to 350 percent of attack to on all enemies. So that's an AOE right there. Decreases skill rank. Then depletes the ultimate gauge move. Ultimate gauge by the number of rank skills decrease. That's another good move here for her. So, um, yeah, I definitely will recommend uh, getting her too as well. If you got a summon for Blue Demon Melee, because they're gonna be working really uh, well. It's also another uh, OC card that is not out yet. Is Valenti? Valenti is an OC as well. They're not in the anime and not in the uh, manga. So she is okay. I don't know if she's used for pvp as much because i don't really see her at all so i don't would not recommend summoning for this at all because she says genius sparking the pierce rate of lot of mace i mean actually um actually that's pretty good actually it's really good because uh because the meta will change to blue diameli and blue lilia and i think escanor will be uh the unit so at the first a uh, couple of weeks I think this card will be good because that's is going to counter Blue Demon Melee. He says, Pierce rate of all enemies is reduced by, by the cutter, uh, resistance rate at the start of the battle. So what is her resistance? 20%. Um, I mean, yeah, that could, that could actually work out. So this card is the counter to Blue Demon Melee and also the Blue Lilia. Her skill is Second Law of Motion, inflicts the 180 damage to an enemy single attack and reduces defense. So it reduces defense related stats by 10%, of course 30 40. Second skill is creation of heaven and earth. Uh, I think it's an attack move. Yep, attack move. And then this is an AoE attack and reduces attack related attacks by 10%. Actually, this is pretty good for that count for that team, so that's gonna be really good. And also her uh, ultimate move is Maxwell's Demon. Inflicts rupture. Uh, okay, yeah, rupture two, two times damage against buff enemies. Uh, so 360 of one. So that's unfortunate. There's only one unit only. 
But yeah, this card is really, really good for that two week whenever we get that Blue Demon Melee uh, on the global side. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, seems like they're not in here yet. Um, let me go to the JP side here. Go to the JP side. Okay. So, um, let me go. Where is she? Okay, Estorosa. I think yeah, this Estorosa. Estorosa is a really good unit too as well to summon for. Um, I think he was summonable. Yeah, he's summonable. Because I don't see him as a coin shop unit. So he is a noble unit. He's super, super good. I see him a lot in the JPPB a, a lot. Uh, so what he does is inflate charge. So that ignores, yeah, ignores defense. That's super good. As well as passive is removes debuffs and grants debuff immunity on an ally that assumes a stance for two turns. So let's say if you have green, uh, green counter melee, that gives him immunity to pretty much petrify and anything that related to debuffs and his commandment is removes allies and enemies damage uh receive damage applied to a debuff that decreases attack re related stats of the attacker by 20 percent for three turns um it's all right it's all right and it's, it's pretty good but I, I prefer the uh this passive this passive is really really good and also his, his uh, second uh, scale is uh full counter Assume a stance which taunts pretty much direct attack to all himself. Taunts is really good for PvP. That way you can get uh, teams. So let's say if we're running this with Blue Blue King and Gother and him. Um, use taunt. And then um, let's say if the enemy has uh, Green Esquinar on their side. That's good because then you're going to protect your Blue King on that turn with this guy. And I think... I don't think he will Oko the blue green Escanor, but he's a really good unit to much to protect your king. Uh, taunt and then enemies for one turn and inflict damage to 240% of the Viva counter. And of course, the higher, the, the more damage. Uh, I, I assume that you want to get the uh, third skill or the second skill. That's really good. So, and this ultimate skill prevent from one turn, take a permitted to the tag. Uh, okay, immune to ultimate. Oh, okay, gotcha. Immune to ultimate gauge move reduction effect. Attack before the enemy lands. Okay. And then reduce before allies receive damage. Deal 300 to is of this ult attack enemy and all fight all their skill. Wow. Okay. That's pretty pretty good. So this guy is really good. I said rec I recommend getting him. Gonna scroll when it comes around. I, re I recommend getting him. Um. Who else? Um. Let's see, the next unit that is another must of is. Let me, see, let me see if I can find her. Uh, oh, well. He's not another good melee here. Well, he's not Demon, but he's regular Meliodas. This is Loss of Bay Meliodas. Uh, he is the first ever festival. Uh, he's pretty much like an LR, pretty much. He's like the, uh, the LR of this game. So. Um, he says passive unique increases rank skills of the hero if the cube receives crit damage. That's super good. And his one skill is inflict damage to okay, that doesn't matter if I want to rank one, but inflict damage to 300% on attack and fills one ultimate one move gauge by one orb. So he's like the um, like the green Esquinar. If there's two or three, he gains two orbs. And the second skill is charge, which ignores defense. And that's what makes him so good. Is that charge in this makes him so good. And his ultimate move is secret inflict secret technique. The technique is increases damage by 20% per hero skill in hand. So that's if you have like five of his skill moves in hand. Woo, that's gonna be a lot of damage. It's gonna be a lot of damage. So I recommend saving for this guy too as well. Now what else? Um, let's see here. Monspeed, nah. Roxy, eh, not really. I don't see her too much. Um, where is, where is she, where is she, where is she? Uh, let's see. Gilead, Gauther, Gilethunder, Elizabeth. Uh, that's not what I wanted. There you go. 
Is Esten or Aston? I don't remember. Her. I don't understand. I think it's Esten. Yeah, Esten. She is with other good mood unit as well as summon on. And Blue Wave increases base stats by 5% per buff on allies and enemies. That's okay. That's pretty good too as well. The skill move is inflict damage to 150% on enemies, so she's in the AOE unit. And also she removes. Oh, so she, she, she fills. Okay, that's pretty good too as well. So she fills her own um, orbs. That's pretty good. And then her second skill, which is increase the stats of allies by 50%, 20%, and 30%. That's another good move uh, skill for her. And her ultimate is spike to the crits as a unit. So that's another good, good unit summon on. I recommend saving for. And of course, the number one unit that people should be saving for is her Dairy Airy. Dairy Airy is actually one of the best units in the game, along with Gother and Escanor. She is pretty good. So, what she says, or what she, what she do is that her passive skill increase attack by 10% when the hero uses a skill. All right. The buff goes away when no skills are used on the turn. All right. And the commitment is decrease the damage dealt by ranked attacks of, of allies, enemy, and PvP by 35%. Okay, uh, that's okay. And then her scales, Darkness Hand, um, that's pretty good. 240 damage on, on the first scale. Damn, that's pretty good. And then of course, 360 and 600. And then her her best, best, best scale move is Injection. This rumor says is increased space stats by 20% for two turns. And then as you rank it up, 30%. And then evades or attack for one turn. And if we go a third, 50% in three turns, and you get evade for one attack. Then her ultimate move is pretty, pretty good. Inflicts amplified damage. So, uh, damage about 30% per buff on itself. So if you do if you do a lot of these buffs on her, and it stacks all of these, all of her buffs stacks. So the more you stack, the more damage you will do on her ultimate. And she is really, really good. So I would definitely recommend tipping for Deary the most because she's going to be useful a lot for Crimson uh, uh, Demon raids, uh, Red X Demon raids, and pretty much for bosses as well. Her pass is pretty good and also on gear. So she's, she's going to be really, really good. The most of all. So that is, I think that is it. Let me see here. Yep, that is it for now. And also, um, of course, we got is uh, Zeltrius. Um, should I say that I, he's a must of? I don't think he's a must of, but he's a really, really good unit. I think he's a better Jericho overall, and plus he's he's blue, and yeah, I think he's a better unit than Jericho. So if you have, if you love Jericho a lot, I would recommend summoning for this guy if you love the stuff that Jericho does on this game. Blue Zeldris is a better unit than than her. As you can see, he's good for every uh, demon, red demon raid. Pass is really good, and also he's, he's good for PvP gear. So, I would definitely recommend getting him. What he does is, uh, rep the representative of the Demon King increases crit damage by 3% when the hero um, ultimate ultimate move gauge is depleted by 1. But the only issue that commandment, the commandment is kind of a, is as, removes debuffs from allies and enemies that move skills and to please the ultimate move gauge or by one. And then a skills is, of course, hack sla slash hack, uh, inflict spike damage, so crit, and then of course the higher you go, the more better you do. And a second, invisible blade, despair, recovers 50% of damage, uh, demolished HP when crit is occurred. Now this one is good because it's an AU attack. And also his ultimate move is Reckless line inflicts spike damage, so another crit move, and that's really good because I think you're gonna be running him with either uh, attack and defense gear or crit gear. Just depends on what you want, but I would definitely recommend um, summoning for uh, blues Deltiers if, if it, which is gonna come like with like months ahead because because global the JP side is like six months ahead, so it's gonna take a while for this guy to come out around. So yeah. So yeah, oh, and also there's another unit as well that will be getting a, a ticket as well. Is this Blue Arthur? Blue Arthur is okay. Um, kind of wish that they had a stun effect on the second skill rank, but other than that, 
This blue Arthur is okay. It's not useful at all. It will, depends on where you use him at, like Red Demon, uh, Red. That's about it. But other than that, it's all right though. But yes. So that is the units to save for next on Global. If you did like this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. And let me know who you guys are going to summon for on Global side. I would recommend summoning for uh, Derriere, Esarosa, and the OC characters, and also for Zeldrius, because those are the units as well. And of course, the more, uh, maybe soon JP will get the one Escanor, and then we're going to get another uh, Zeldrius, a better Zeldrius, with his um, ultimate move, which is Omni slash Nova or Nova or something like that or Nova something like that, but yes All right guys, thank you for watching and yeah guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace